Hello folks, welcome to the channel. Before we get into this very important news about OpenXR, I'd just like to point out that this video is proudly sponsored by VR Wave, which are a tailor-made prescription lens insert provider that correct for nearsightedness, farsightedness, and any astigmatism you may have. Now, even if you don't wear glasses, it's very important to protect your lenses uh, and also have a blue light filter to protect your eyes as well. I have a 5% discount code. Go grab it now while it's still available. Hello folks and welcome to the channel. This video is really all about the brand new OpenXR tools for Windows Mixed Reality. They have been updated. Now please keep in mind that this is different from the OpenXR toolkit. It can get quite confusing sometimes, but this is something that is available in your Microsoft Store and you should have it especially for Reverb G2 owners. Now at the moment I'm using a customized render scale at 100% using the latest preview runtime and at the time's recording I'm pleased to say there's been a new update which focuses mainly on motion reprojection and in a moment I'm going to show you my frame rate which should be locked at 30 frames per second which is a quarter of the refresh rate of the Reverb G2. That might not sound like a lot but actually using motion reprojection um, is a very interesting type of technology that produces fake frames to simulate the perceived feeling of 90 frames per second. I'd recommend that everyone gives this a go and you can enable it in the OpenXR tools for Windows Mixed Reality. Very easy. And why am I telling you this? Well, the focus for this update has really been about giving motion reprojection more priority. And I've been testing to see if I can feel any perceived difference whilst flying in Norway with very heavy cloud with the Reverb G2. And I have to say that everything just feels a bit more smoother, particularly when the frame rate is transitioning between uh, different values, say 22.5 to 30 and 45 frames per second. Now at the moment I'm using TAA mode with ultra settings and I'm getting 30 frames per second on the button. Anyway, please do let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on this? Are you tempted to try this new update? I would definitely recommend it and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye for now.